Lightroom has had many phases over the years, most of them very similar to the last. And besides a few quality of life improvements, the overall utility of this software hadn't changed much over the past decade. And that was okay. These tools were familiar, and for most of us, enough. Then 2020 came, and a whole lot of not so great with it. But Lightroom also started to change. We were introduced to the new color grading panel, a vast improvement from the split toning panel before it, this tool finally giving you the ability to precisely filter in color, targeting shadows, midtones, and highlights. A tool cinematographers and professional colorists had been using for years, now at photographers' fingertips. Not too shabby, Adobe. And one thing worth mentioning, don't forget about a very important update just a few years back. Creative profiles were introduced, and this really changed the game. If it passed you by or you don't quite understand, let me explain. Creative profiles give users the ability to layer in additional effects on top of your existing preset and settings, but not only from Lightroom, from Photoshop as well. So if you'd ever dreamed of combining multiple presets or effects together within Lightroom, this feature finally made that possible. All right, Adobe, we see you. But that has to be it for a while, right? I mean, taking things much further might push us into Photoshop territory, and Adobe has always drawn a clear line between those two platforms. But in October 2021, that's exactly what they did. And while the lines became a bit more blurred, we photographers couldn't complain. The masking panel update not only introduced layering, but also AI selection tools that pretty much revolutionized the editing process in Lightroom. Before this update, masking your subject was at the very least a taxing process, one that could add hours or days of work depending on the amount of imagery. But that was now a thing of the past. These AI selection tools, while not perfect, are pretty damn close. Not to mention the seemingly limitless amount of layers you can have, giving you the ability to transform your imagery in such a way that before was not realistic for every image. Adobe has now most recently added its new preset slider, this being a great little tool to help you adjust the intensity of either color grading or specific effects that you use in a preset format, another very welcome addition. Since the release of each of these updates, we here at Archipelago have been incorporating every single one of these features into our post-production tools as soon as they drop, and we'll continue to do so for every single future update. It's important to us that you have the latest and greatest tools in your arsenal to push your creativity forward. We specifically created Quest for this reason, our monthly subscription platform, so you can experience these features immediately without wait. For only $8 a month, you'll receive a new set of presets monthly included with your membership, not to mention bonus tools and effects included absolutely free. So if you haven't already, sign up. You could do a lot worse with $8. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing. This has been Chris, signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.